Welcome back everybody. This is another episode of Man Bites Film. If this is the first time you're tuning in, my name is Lewis and every week I present to you the my favorite movies that I've seen recently on Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, or Shudder. Any of these streaming networks, only the stuff that's on streaming. Sometimes I'll throw a random big film on there, but that's usually because it's a huge thing in the zeitgeist and I want to do a review on it or it blew my mind so much that I had to do a review on it. So this week we're going to review two uh, great films that I saw on Netflix. Uh, of course, everything that we do is non-spoiler and we try to give you a synopsis without spoiling any of the main points of the film and give you something to entice you to watch these two films. First one that I want to go straight into is The House October The House's October Built. This is a 2014 film, runs about an hour and 30 minutes. It's kind of a horror thriller type of thing and it revolves around basically these kids in Texas that they want to rent an RV and find the most extreme haunted houses in the United States. So they're looking for this invite only type of haunted house and of course the only way they're able to do that is follow these message boards and and follow these different things that are going on and then try to discover where this house is and how to experience it. So in the US there's about 2,500 haunted houses every October for the Halloween uh, season. Now this is awesome. This film made me want to get an RV and go out there to these haunted silos, abandoned the scene asylums, uh, ghost towns, all these things, which hopefully I will be doing in August. And of course, I'll be bringing that to you as well, because that's going to be an epic journey, of course. So um, Houses October Built follows these kids. They rent the RV in Texas and they are trying to find this haunt that they keep reading about in message boards that's the most extreme haunted house ever. While they're trying to find this thing though, of course, they're going to other haunted houses because why not? It's October, might as well enjoy the haunted houses that are different parts of Texas and different other states that they might visit as well. So they discover how to get to this haunted house and they have to drive to Louisiana. Now, how they discover where this haunted house is, how they discover where this experience is, and how they're going to be part of this experience is very intriguing and very interesting in itself. I think that this is a great film. It's very entertaining. I give this a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Sometimes, depends on the mood that I'm in, I will give it an 8, um, but this is an very entertaining film and it will make you want to go out there on the road and go do exactly what these guys did go explore and try to find these haunted houses that are totally totally out there and extreme so i hope you guys enjoy this house uh, the houses october built it's streaming uh currently on netflix and i definitely recommend it so eight out of ten that's my my rating for it Next one that I want to go straight into is a very interesting sci-fi thriller, runs about an hour and 40 minutes. This is a 2016 film and it's called The Infinity Chamber. This is really interesting because it got recommended to me on Netflix. Of course, it's on streaming on Netflix. And I, as soon as I saw Houses October Built, it gave me this recommendation. And I was like, okay, sci-fi thriller right after this horror mockumentary style thing. Eh, all right, let's give it a chance. I gave it a chance. Let me tell you, this is really interesting. It's, uh, the best way I could describe it is, imagine if prisons are automated by computers because we don't want to deal with the, the prisoners and all this stuff before they actually get a trial. So that's what this revolves around and you don't get anything other than the room itself other than random flashbacks but this is based off most of the film is based on a unreliable narrator i guess you could say the film really revolves around that and it takes a very interesting turn of events and completely deceives you in every way you could possibly imagine there's nothing in here that is safe there's nothing in here that's sacred um this film takes you turns 
every five minutes it gives you a new turn it gives you a new twist it gives you a new thing to look at and try to figure out and i thought that was very interesting i this prisoner he's trying to figure out how to beat the system because it's not a person that's jailing him it's a computer system that's jailing him and like most sci-fi this does a very interesting turn of events and it tries to explain a lot of things but it doesn't at the same time it gives it it leaves it up for interpretation which is very interesting and i thought it was well done for this film this film benefits from being uh what do you call it very vague and very you know just let people figure it out for themselves because this really blew my mind this film really got to me it really snuck in and really got under my skin and it is well acted it's well directed it's well edited oh my god the editing in this film is superb the pacing of this film it just gets you more and more and more interested and this is a very slow paced film but it keeps you interested it keeps you intrigued it keeps you delved into that world so i definitely definitely enjoyed this film i give this an 8 out of 10 infinity chamber and it's streaming on netflix so the two films going recapping is the houses october built and infinity chamber both of these are streaming currently on netflix so easy access for all okay so those are the two reviews for this week if you enjoyed what you what you saw today and heard whatever the case is please like comment uh subscribe share and check us out we actually do a bi a weekly podcast that yeah bi-weekly podcast sorry uh, every two weeks we we post a new one on itunes under the same name man bites film and once a month well we're trying for once a month we're going to be doing man versus film which is fandom versus fandom and the next one that we want to go into is going to be Star Wars versus Star Trek. These are huge fandoms and I want to get as many people involved as the, on this project as possible because I think it's going to be super intriguing to see the different points of view of this um, particular two epic sci-fi film, uh, film franchises and show franchises. So uh, please stay tuned. Uh, check us out every week on YouTube and every two weeks on the podcast monthly for the man uh, versus film my name is lewis see you guys next Thank you.